Hey guys, Pete over here. So before we get into today's video, I want to talk about this poster because Rick is asking me, do I still have it? So I'm going to do a little close up for you on it. This is Jane's Addiction poster. I had a couple of them. The other one I sold about a month ago. This one is still available. Rick, if you are interested, uh, I'm asking 30 bucks for it plus a few dollars for shipping. Depends where you are. So a uh, pretty cool poster, had it for a while, but it's time to put some new stuff on a wall. So I'm ready to let this one go. So if you're interested, it's available. Let's get into today's video. So it's a student's one. It's a small one. Yeah, this is very basic stuff. Um, to be honest with you, I don't think I even want it. You want to give a 20 for it? With the case? Yeah, that's fine. I'll do 20 okay. bucks. No, th this is something I'll get like 35 bucks out of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's very, very... Uh, basic one, so you guys buying bikes yet? Starting to. I got a nice uh, Cannondale uh, uh, CAD one or CAD two. I forgot which one it is, and it's a two hundred something. It's like good brand, condition. Like brand new. Yeah, bring it by. I'll yeah, bring it yeah. By. I'm starting to look now. April when April rolls around, we start looking. You know, the weather is going to be getting better any week now, so. All right, man. All right, Thank you. Yep. Where you at? Come on. What's going on? What do you got? Uh, got a couple of guitars. Did the whole band quit? <laughs> <laughs> I've had them for years and haven't used them. I'm like, gotcha. I got an amp down here too. It's a little older. Yeah. Since okay, and you said you got a little amp there? Yeah. yeah. Here's set it down here, all line six. Oh, I got the same one that I bought the other day. <laughs> exactly the same one. From, was it from you? Yeah. Yeah, that was from you. What are you thinking? What do you want to get out of this? Um, I mean, what do you, what do you, uh, what are you thinking? Because I really don't know. So these squires, you know, these strats are very, very basic. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's really nothing to them. This is a little bit nicer guitar. Um, that acoustic one, a little bit older, but not, nothing special there. Mm -hmm. uh, very basic Fender too. Between everything, 200. Okay. Um, if I got store credit, would that be a little bit more? Not, nothing really? I'll throw another quarter at you, 225 store credit. Then, okay. You know, never expires, so a little bit more, but. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Let me look around and see if we yeah, see anything. Yeah, take your time. And if, and if you don't use it today, like I said, never expire, so you can use it anytime. Okay. So, all right, so take your time. Thank you. Thank you. We know you're not look a at witch, you. huh? Whatever. You, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> Workforce. Another. And it's missing the what there there must yeah, there was um, something that had like a bad or something. Not, I don't even also, want it. you're missing uh, yeah. the thing Controller. to change the angle up there too. Yeah. This is way too beat up, too old, and missing too many things. So no, okay. I'll go on that. I'm sorry. It's just you know. Um, I, I, I got one more, one more thing, and I'm and that's not. You want to take that back? I, I, let, let me, um, let me find out about this thing. That thing I'm probably just gonna. Okay. It's Man, pouring it's cats and dogs out great. there, like insane, and she's going back and forth. 
It must have been coming down so hard. Look at that. See that dripping? Yeah. That's crazy. Is the first time you noticed it? Yeah, first time I noticed it. All right, huh? All right. Good Look luck. Look, now the sun comes out, yeah. so we have a rainbow. We have a rainbow. Oh, uh, thanks. See ya. Holy cow, I'm going to have to try out that uh, kayak out there, huh? But look, dripping from here from a soffit. It's coming in. Yeah, we got a pond out there. Yeah, maybe I'll try out that kayak I'm buying from you. All right, get out there. Because we're, we're halfway your, across the... Put your speedos on. <laughs> I, I think if you would be a little bit more in the middle, you would actually move. <laughs> or it's, the road. Or the road. Look look at the road, oh, guys. Look. It's like spinning in a circle on the drain. There's, right there. there's a drain back there. Shit is spinning in a circle. Look at that. That's crazy. That's how much rain we got like within literally 10 minutes. You're going to get your feet wet. It didn't, the test didn't work out, but I promise you, I promise you, Ryan, this thing is not leaking. <laughs> it's good. Okay, so you do have another battery yeah, I'll get charger. It. Okay, yeah. yeah. Hey, you mind if I open this up? Yeah, on top. On top, there's a little lip at the top of the glass. See it? Like a... Oh, okay. Yeah, just pull on it. So the jigsaw, I'm gonna say no, and the reason why I, I just got too many. Okay. You know what I mean? And this okay. is kind of no brand okay. jigsaw, so. Uh, got a three dollar Walmart card too. If you want to buy it. Enough for you. How much? Three dollar? Thirty. Oh, thirty dollar Walmart card. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Has it been used already? Yeah, I used it once. Okay, so I can't buy it. Can't buy it yeah, anymore. if you already used it, uh, yeah, it was 72 on there, and there's 30 left on there. Yeah, I, I, I can't. If it was used already once, it's a little bit different. If it's like a regular, like a gift okay. card from the get go, that I okay. can scratch it off, and oh, okay. yeah. you know. So, what are you, what are you trying to get out of this? What, what can you give me? Tell me. Oh boy. So Performance Max is kind of like a Menards brand, mm -hmm. but it's a good little saw. Yeah. Black and Decker, these I don't get a whole lot out of it. So I can offer you for everything that it's here like 50 bucks. That's fine. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's so, fine. So, and this, to be honest with you, I don't know what I can get out of these, but you do have quite a few boxes yeah, here yeah. still full of stuff. You know what I mean? So yeah. that will help. But, all right, I need your idea. I'll write you up. To be honest with you, I don't remember the last time I sold any, any rivets like that, you know? Hey, my friend, 50, Thank you, okay? Thank you. Thank you. You want this or you don't care? Maybe, maybe take a minute. Oh, okay. Thank you. Get that out of the way too. So this clip, this clip is, is uh, something interesting that you can put in here. So did she, no way. Did she just? Yeah, pretty big pile. Ruby, my gosh. Did you do that? Did you do that on my back too? Why? Why, girl? I love you anyway. Okay. I believe it's the second time I had to clean up your shirt on film. Well, you know, what uh, we do, we do everything for these viewers. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm super excited to share this with you guys, what I have in front of me. This is a vintage turntable from a company called Empire and they're actually back in the day they were no, known as Scientific Empire. Very high fidelity outfit, they made some amazing stuff. Probably started making stuff, I'm thinking late 50s, early 60s, I'm not 100% sure. But they were very short lived, probably maybe 15 years, that's about it because they kind of went away at the end of... Uh, 70s and this turntable that I have right here I'm gonna lift uh, the lid is Absolute work of art and I just ordered a new belt for it because it did have a belt But it was stretched out and honey's gonna check it out. No, don't come in baby. Please. Please you can't climb on that one Sorry, this is a turntable from 1976. I have all the original manuals, which is very impressive. I bought some high-end electronics. No, no, don't do that, baby, please. No, it's not a scratch post. 
I bought some high-end electronics from this gentleman. He was able to hold on to all the original paperwork that came with this. Um, this is a model 698 Empire. This is the schematics for everything that is inside on this beautiful unit. Now at the moment it's not oper operational because I got to put the new belt on. But the way this thing is built, this is this brushed aluminum. Fantastic piece of equipment. Ruby, why? What's wrong? Yes, I'll take you out. Come on, come on. You want to be part of the conversation, I know. So this thing, here, sit down. So this thing, they were making this particular model from like 1974, I think, to 78. And then the company went under, got completely bought out by somebody. I think Torrance might have bought them out. One of those high-end companies. And this one back in the day, this is 1976 model, cost $400. So just to give you an idea, equivalent of today's money is roughly, roughly a little bit over two grand, maybe like 2,200 bucks. So back in the day, think about this. Somebody really dished out a lot of money to enjoy some music. And the way this thing is built, it's just like a beast. Even the ring here for 45s is built in. You flip that around and you go like so, so you can listen to your 45s. Uh, absolutely amazing engineering here. The plate, the platter goes off like this, but then the actual platter is a beast. This is probably about eight to nine pounds. Look how heavy this is built. Amazing. And the whole chassis here is suspended, so this actually floats. At the moment, I have three screws screwed in on it so it doesn't move for transportation, but this is, this is absolutely a beauty. So it would be nice actually if I could possibly in today's money get about two grand for this, but unfortunately they don't bring that much. Uh, now this one is obviously in exceptional condition, so I'm going to be shooting probably for about eleven, twelve hundred dollars and if I get a thousand I'll be very happy. Um, it's it's a piece of art, but it's not super sought after for some reason uh, unit. I don't know why. I, I took it actually home. I played it. I love it. It's it's fantastic. It just doesn't fit, you know, the decor. Uh, my wife said, get this thing out of here. <laughs> so, so I did. So it's going on the floor here for sale. <laughs> if any of you guys are interested, uh, please make me an offer. But this is absolute absolute beauty the way even the hinges that are made on this are just amazing the whole thing is is just absolute uh, piece of art love it so as i'm putting this away and and carlos stopped filming guess what happened she's sitting on my shoulder and again she pooped on my back ruby ruby what's wrong with you Shopping cards. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> that's actually Isn't that cool. That's kind of cool. Oh. Never seen one like that. Hey, Steve, how are you? Hey, Pete. Sure you uh, give me a minute. One yeah, one. no problem. Yeah, those are cool. <laughs> you wouldn't find one of them anywhere. What is that? Little pump or something? It's, pump. So, uh, it's got. A, it's a rebuild. Working. Like a, for a kiddie pool or a pool to pump some water out or some stuff like that, right? Yeah. Yep. All right. This one's uh, British, made in England. When a lot of the brass stuff, I'm always looking for European. Don't know what that was. Yeah, who knows? Well, it's got a, like a. Well, this would probably leak the way that it's built. Who knows? Plate. Plate. Oh, these are heavy. I think they're pewter. You think so? It might be brass or Indian. Yeah, I think it's I think it's brass. I think too shiny for a pewter, you know? Pewter is usually very dull. It's plated, but you know. But it's heavy. It's heavy. They're heavy. They're like a pound each. Yeah. You know? What that means in scrap is Brass is going two and two and a quarter today. So Scotty, I'll be I'll be honest with you. Cards, the chairs, and the pump. I would be interested. This stuff at the moment, no. 
Okay. It's just not doing good. What are you thinking? What do you want to get out of this? Make me an offer on all of it. Uh, you know what? I'm going to, just to be fair, I'm going to scan this one mm -hmm. just to see. I know you said it's rebuilt, so obviously it's not new, but... It is. It's old, but... I'm out of curiosity to see what they bring on the used market. I rebuilt it down at the plant a long time ago. Oh, you did it yourself, huh? I did it. Some okay. plastic parts. Diaphragm, stuff like that. It's working. So I only see three sold, pre-owned. Mm -hmm. Forty-five ninety-five. They took a best offer. Another one for thirty-five bucks, and one for sixty. I like the cards. I'm not gonna lie. They're pretty cool. They are. I just don't know how much I can get out of them. How about forty-five bucks for everything? You got any silver quarters or halves? No. All I got is buffalo nickels. I don't have anything else. 50 bucks, I'll walk away. 50 bucks, you walk away. You betcha. Man. Ain't that tough? <laughs> You're a tough one, all right. Yeah. 50 bucks it is. But I'm easy also. I know. All right, appreciate you. So I want to show off this beautiful piece right here. I just picked this up, and I told myself I'm not going to be buying any more vintage and antique stuff, but I honestly could not pass on this. So this is a Asian room divider separator you usually don't get them that tall they're only usually about six feet tall this one is seven feet tall so it's pretty cool and it's about 12 feet long when you completely spread this so it's it's pretty amazing and the way i know that this is definitely a vintage piece because the hinges that are on it are for sure old they're probably 40s or 50s they had flat screws on them which, is, which tells me that they're almost 100% uh, legit. And the graphics on these are amazing, amazing. I had a couple of these before over the years and they always sell for good money, but not as tall as this one. And I think possibly I can maybe get even like a thousand bucks out of this, maybe even more. So when the lady showed up with this, um, I couldn't pass it on. I did pay up for it, but uh, it's a beautiful piece. Guys, what do you think? What are the birds on this? Are these cranes? Are they storks? Now, storks would be white, so maybe they're cranes. They got very long beaks on them. Very, very cool piece. I absolutely love it. So I want to talk about here something that a lot of people don't talk about. What do you do with items that been sitting on your in your eBay store for two, three, four years. How you handle that? There's a point that eventually you have to just get rid of the stuff. Um, it makes no sense anymore to even lower the price. So I took example. I took four items here to to show you guys an example. Most of these are right around thirty bucks now, but three years ago they were like sixty dollars seventy dollars so um, we're gonna start first for example you get excited HP laser seal brand new it's a cartridge right and you think oh it's a great score bought this for 10 bucks it goes for like 50 will do very well well I have a cheat sheet here and this HP we put it on eBay back of September 2019 right now I have it down already to $30 with all the fees time to list this money that we paid at this time it's not it's not worth keeping it anymore I mean every month right you 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 paying even insertion fee of, of 20 cents and after a year that's a couple bucks so if it would sell right now I'm making nothing on it you have to make a decision what to do so it's coming off it's coming here into the shop. We're just gonna put 10 bucks on it, try to get the money back. Another item here. This is this is a poly cam. This is one of those units that if you have a big conference room, you stick this in the middle of the table and you can communicate. Everybody can be on speaker. Um, great buy. Three years ago, paid for this one, also $10. We had this listed as high as a 75 because that's what it was going for. And guess what? Three months later, it went to 60. Another few months, it went to 50. Now I have it at 35, still no bites. At this point, it's not worth keeping it. It has to go here on the floor or we're just gonna donate. So there's, there's a lot of stuff like this that nobody talks about. 
like this this is what I'm gonna show you now beautiful brand new it, it's Notchman from Germany crystal look at this thing beautiful piece brand new we paid for this $15 right now it's also listed at 30 we started at a hundred it went from 100 to like 80 70 50 right now it's 30 bucks three years later no bites so what do you do again you got to take it off we'll put it here for 20 bucks and hopefully we'll make a couple dollars on it um, and there's like this is a little bit more money here we bought this thinking this is going to be a major score right this is a sealed game it's a frogger we got super excited when this came in yes it shows a tear here it's it's ripped right but you thinking oh my gosh brand new sealed never used game we're gonna do really well well originally there was we only found a couple comps and that's the problem sometimes if something is super rare. one i think comp was for like 150 one comp was for i think 140 and that was it this was listed now for three and a half years yes three and a half years we paid 70 bucks for it right now it's listed for 79 we are just trying to get the money back and it's still not moving so some stuff is just <laughs> it just doesn't move uh, and you get excited you see something out in the wild oh it's sealed game we i'm gonna make bank on it um, so now this is gonna go in one of the cases here in a store we'll try to probably put 50 bucks on it see if we get a bite here for 50 um, that's the name of the game sometimes you got to just take the stuff off and uh, either donate or try to recoup some money I just thought I would uh, I would share that not many people talk about stuff that you buy and uh, doesn't sell all right guys it's that time giveaway time before we end today's video somebody's getting these presidential M&Ms from uh, George Bush the the senior no the junior the junior George so probably 20 years old so I got the video plugged in 547 comments with the word president and we're gonna hit winner and the winner is oh I can't even say that a, a kraken a kraken I can't say it H A H R U K I N. So I actually figure out your name is Ayukin, right? Is that how you say it? Uh... Yeah, from Street Fighter 2, Ryu. <laughs> because we looked at your icon and we figured out what the name should be. But anyway, down below in the description, you'll see my email. Please send me email. We can exchange information so I can verify it. You and this presidential M&Ms will be heading your way. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Catch you on the next one. Cheers. Mm -hmm.